Welcome to the three layer rendering tutorial, a new add on for Blender that allows you to divide meshes, metaballs, surfaces, and texts into three different layers and provides an extremely faster view layers interface with less resource consumption. We have different objects that affect each other. We create a collection for each layer we want. We create each of the layers, and we configure them separately using exclude, hold out, and indirect only. This is part of the new project I'm working on. It is divided into collections, some of which I want on different layers. I have grouped all similar objects, these use instance on points in geometry nodes, and I already have some layers created, but you can also start from scratch. We start by selecting the focus object. Next, we select the camera, or leave it blank to use the active one. Now split objects appears, so we are going to select and process all the objects and collections that interest us. The first time an object is processed, TLR will add a new collection. Within it, we will find three other collections, background, foreground, and focus. Geometry nodes instances work the same way, but if the selected objects use instance on points node at the root of the group, the Smart Geo Nodes option will be available. Instead of deleting geometry, it prevents instances from being created, consuming less memory. In split settings, we can configure the size of the different layers. We can change the width of foreground, and in case of unevenness, the height of the object that makes the cut. Use only if the cut does weird things. In focus, we can change the X and Y position, the Z position only for the slope, as well as its scale. And finally, we have camera culling, which instantly speeds up our viewport considerably. We can select what it will affect, only meshes, only geometry nodes, or both. We can change the camera width, focus width, X and Y position, and X and Y scale. And all of these options can be animated. Since I'm currently using the active camera, and in the timeline I have linked the cameras that make up the sequence, all objects are updated frame by frame. Blender loads the data for each layer we open, and depending on its size, it will take more or less time, and the use of RAM memory will increase. Once a layer is open, we configure its collections and configure its passes. It seems like a waste of time and an unnecessary use of resources to me, so let's forget about these panels and create the initial TLR layers. From here, we can access both the passes and the collections of the layer we have selected, avoiding changing layers in Blender and saving both time and system resources. We can filter the layers created by TLR and have shortcuts to use, open, and delete. We can also change the order of the layers by selecting them, moving them, and applying the changes. While the order of the layers is being changed, it will be impossible to modify any other values. The changes must first be applied or undone. In the Passes tab, we can select the ones we want, keeping in mind that if we modify something on a different layer than the one we are on, we will not see any changes. We can access the Cryptomad, override ARVs, light groups, including use passes. With collections, it is the same. The collections on the selected layer will be modified. They can be filtered exactly the same as view layers, and there are options to expand and collapse all collections at once.